guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I thought I would create a New Year's glam look that you could wear for New Year's or any sort of special occasion. It's a little bit different with the um, glitter tears going on, but I just wanted to create something that had a little something different than the usual. I used my Too Faced Sweet Peach eyeshadow collection palette. This is available in New Zealand from Mac Max on the 31st of January and it smells beautiful it is beautiful um, if you want to check it out I'll leave the link below and if you want to see how I created this look then please keep on watching okay to start off I'm just going to spray my skin with some Scandinavia um, makeup finishing spray today for primer I'm going to use this black cosmetics illuminating veil I've been using this heaps on my clients and I've really been um, noticing how beautiful and glowy their skin is so I am going to use that on myself today kind of has this like glowy sheen to it which is really nice when you're using like a full coverage foundation that requires a little bit of extra glow for foundation I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear um, I've been using this heaps lately because it just has such a beautiful finish I had kind of forgotten how much I loved it so um, I'm going in with the shade 3 in 2 which is wheat just using a kabuki style brush my skin has really been playing up this week, so um, hopefully everything will be covered. Okay, so I'm just going to pop on some of this um, Organic Skin Co Cream Concealer in the Sculpt Shade. I used this in my last tutorial and I did say that I wouldn't be using it for contouring again, but I did really like how it turned out for... Um, um, bronzing up the skin so I'm just gonna actually use my same um, kabuki brush and I'm just gonna dab it in there I'm just gonna start popping it on the areas where I want to be nice and bronze like I've been in the Sun which I have been in the Sun but I've been really trying to make sure I wear my sunscreen because I have noticed that even though I have been wearing sunscreen I've been getting way more freckles than normal because I've been out in the Sun so much just gives a really nice bronzy um, look to the skin because it is very very warm it's a very warm shade so I think it is really really nice for um, just giving yourself that sun-kissed healthy glowy look without um, like looking too unnatural because it is a concealer so it's creamy and it's just gonna blend beautifully into the skin a little bit on the nose I'm just going to brush through the brows, benefit the brow, Sigma brow brush. Looks a little bit weird but I am going to fill that in now. So I'm just going to use my MAC Coquette Eyeshadow. I really just love this powder. Obviously it's very well loved um, because it is so ashy and it's not too dark for my eyebrows. Because I have lighter hair um, with my eyebrows and I have dark eyebrows naturally. I don't want to put too much like dark product in there because they just get so dark so quickly. And it looks very mismatched with my hair. So for New Year's this year, because we are staying in Fiji, we are going to the second largest island in Fiji, which is Vanuolevu, and we are going to a place called Tavioni, which is very, very beautiful, apparently. I haven't been there yet. This will be my first time. And then we're going to my partner Simon's father's village to visit his family there. Um, he hasn't been there for quite a long time and I've never been there so we are going to go and visit them and apparently it's like paradise on earth there. It's so beautiful. There's dolphins, there's beautiful clear waters and I mean where we live now I mean it's beautiful enough but this apparently this is just like next level so it's going to be pretty exciting to go and um, meet the family and check out what it's like. My Saucier Styler from Longcom. I love, 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 love this product. It is so good for the brows. Alright. 
got a little bit of fluff there now, which is what I like. Okay, concealer on a flat brush for under the brows. That's done. So now I'm going to start on the eyeshadow. I know that I want to use a Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which I did use in my last tutorial, but I didn't actually use any of the fun colors because I was just doing more neutrals. So I'm not really sure. I think maybe purple and green or something. Right, so just use white peach all over the lid to set the concealer that I popped down in two uses an eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to use Georgia, which is a very pale pink. And I'm just going to start getting it through the crease area. Okay, then I'm going to take Puree, which is the light brown color. This is a really nice like mid-tone brown. I'm just going to start picking in this color. Do we want to create a halo eye today? So I'm just going to pop that on outer and inner. Going in with a smaller brush in the same shades and I'm just going to darken that up a wee bit. And really get in that inner corner. And I'm going to take out Super Yum, which is that ready brown shade there, and pop that into the crease too. Alright, so I've got all my transition shades down, so whew, I'm just trying to pick which shade, it's really, really tough. Maybe I'll go with the green, I haven't done green in ages, so that's called Bless Her Heart. All because of you. This shade is not really working. Might be better with a darker base underneath it. I'm not sure. There is this tempting shade next to it, so I'm going to try that one. See if that will go down better. As you can see, it's getting quite a lot of fallout from that green. I think all the colour that was supposed to go on my eyelids went underneath my eyes. <laughs> that green shade. Okay, so I've made sure I've left that gap on my eyelid for another colour. Just making sure to blend up all of that tempting shade. I'm going to take some of this colour tattoo uh, in the shade Barely Branded. I'm going to pop this in the centre of the lid. And then I'm going to take this shade Luscious, which is like a really light beige colour. And I'm just going to go over top of that colour tattoo. I put laying down that base, it really enhances the shade you're going to put on top of it. So I'm just going to go with the Makeup White. These are the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. These are my favourite makeup wipes because they work. <laughs> and also you can get them here on Fiji, which is pretty cool. Okay, now I've cleaned it up, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of foundation because oh, uh, it's all gone. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much because I ain't going to put concealer there anyway, but yeah, it was really annoying. So for concealer, I'm just going to go back in with the Naked Skin Concealer. This is my light neutral shade. Back in with that sculpt shade 
because I have erased some of it with that concealer. Then I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's going to set underneath my eyes. Taking my Mary Kay Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in beige. Setting those bronzy areas. So just along my brow bone. I'm also going to set it with some of this nectar and white peach mix together. But under the eyes, I'm just gonna take um, this these two browns again, and I'm gonna leave that space in the middle. Somehow that dark colour has got down the bottom lash line. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go back into that barely branded colour tattoo from my bling. Just going to mix my um, Helix Glitter from Makeup Store and my Ink Got Jewel line. Just like... Actually I don't even know if I'm going to mix this. Just going to apply some Jewel line. Directly under my eyes and like <laughs> so about three months ago must be uh, Simon found a little pup on the side of the road who was like starving starving she had bones everywhere she had ticks she had fleas and so he brought her home we defleed her deticked her and then we really really wanted to keep her but we felt it would be a little bit irresponsible keeping the dog when we don't know how long we're going to be here and also um, our landlord was not wanting us to have a dog so anyway our friend adopted her she's a beautiful family now and the best thing about it is that we get to see her whenever we want so this is lucky and we are back to keep her today so she's so good she's such a beautiful dog she's doing so well and she has the best forever home now, so it's the best outcome. Only thing is that when we found her, Mom, come here, look. Somebody had cut off her tail. Schmucks. So, anyway, Lucky's here today. Hey, Lux. And she's hanging out. And we're going to take her to the beach later, and she's going to have a good walk and have some fun with us. Come on, say hi. Say hi. Lucky. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. So yeah, that's lucky everyone. Alright, I better do this other eye before I continue to look unusual. So alright, I'm just going to apply this jewel line. And then take the glitter. Okay, so now I better put some lashes on. I'm trying to decide if I want lighter. I think I'm just going to do a really fine line across the lash line. By the sounds I'm breathing in. I haven't tried these ones yet. These are the Socialized Silver Series. Last week I used the Seductress and this week I'm going to use the Electra. They are a faux mink lash if that makes sense. So they're made from non-animal fibers like human hair, synthetic fibers to create a fluffy lash. So Give these ones a go. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go with the liner because I think that these would be too much with the liner. pop some Stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner okay. for a little bronzer because it's New Year's I'm going to use my golden bronzer from golden light sorry from Bobby Brown and a big powder brush then for highlighter, I 
wanted to use my golden glow illuminator from black cosmetics again blush mac melba which is just a really easy to wear peachy blush color on my face i like your endless auto look liner and natural mm -hmm. this is maybelline mm, matte lipstick and daringly nude Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy Gloss in Milkshake. And final spray of Scandinavia. So that concludes this New Year's Glam look. I hope that you like it. If you do, please leave me a comment and of course hit the subscribe button. And if you do recreate the look, then please tag me in it on social media. All my links are down below. I would love to see it and or I would just love to see your makeup looks that you do create for New Year's anyway. I uh, hope you have a really, really happy Christmas and New Year and a safe holiday. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.